of Jesus Christ is lifted high. To be my Lord and Savior, take my life. Thank you, Jesus. Join us today in worshiping Jesus Christ. after 38 years who could make a man well and that's Jesus. In the name of Jesus. When God came into my life, He became my Father. For better or for worse. Welcome to Evangelism in Action. What you're going to see in this next episode is Evangelism in Action. The city of Calgary is a prosperous city with the oil flowing. Thousands of people from all across Canada and North America are coming to Calgary to make the big dollar, to get rich. And they're looking for happiness in the material things of this world. But we know as followers of Jesus that the things of this world are superficial. We see more people on antidepressants than ever before. We see many rich people committing suicide. We know that the things of this world do not give happiness and do not give eternal life. We know that everyone has a death sentence upon them because of sin. We have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. It's up to you and me, church, to share Jesus with the lost. Rich or poor, we need Jesus. Rich or poor, men and women need Jesus. And in the city of Calgary, we have many rich and we have many poor. But our job as children of God is to share the good news with them. To share that Jesus loves them and Jesus died for them. Jesus took the bullet for them. And you're going to see in this episode that preaching the gospel today is no different than the book of Acts. Preaching the gospel in the city of Calgary in Canada, in North America, is the same as in Africa. We just as a church have got passive. It's time to be aggressive with our faith, to step out and be fishers of men. Everybody's having a, a fairly good night tonight. We're very blessed to be out here. We're very blessed to be to be given um, the food and the coffee and all this all this stuff. It all gets donated, and it's awesome that, that we have some people to share it with. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you appreciate it. Um, again, we, we we of course want to remind you why we're out here. Though we're out here to to praise God and to give Him glory. And to remind you, to remind everybody that God loves them so much. So many people hear the name Jesus Christ and they, they don't know what to think about it. Some people just hear it as a curse word. You know, they, they, they don't know what it means, they don't know what it is. And, 
so many people have, have experienced so many things in this world, good things, bad things, of course, and, and they sort of think of, of religion when they think of Jesus as well and, and who Jesus was and who Jesus is. But I want to share with you tonight who Jesus is. And this is not my opinion. This comes out of the Word of God. This comes out of the Bible. His Word, His Holy Word that's been around for 3,000 years. What people don't realize, you know, some people say, well, come on, that's just one book. You know, you can't just believe one book. Well, it's actually 66 different books written by 40 different authors over 1,500 years. And they're all put together. They're all put together in one package, if you will. And it's called the Holy Bible. It's called the Word of God. And the very beginning of Jesus' walk on this earth, I want, I, want to, I want to write, I want you to hear something that was written about Jesus to explain who he was. Again, so many people just have such a hard time with the fact that, that Jesus Christ was God. You know, and it's like looking at someone saying, okay, well, like Mary was God, or could be God, or maybe Steve could be God. How could somebody be God? It's very tough to understand. It is tough to understand if you, you know, if you really fight it, but it's very, very simple. If your heart is ready, if you, if you want to know God, if you want to know why you're here, if you want to know who Jesus is, it's a very easy answer about who he is, that he was God in the flesh. I want to read for you the beginning in the, in the, in the Bible here, in, in, the, in the book of John. It says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. You see, the Word is Jesus Christ. And then as it continues here, it says, the Word became flesh and dwelt among men God himself God himself came down to show humanity to show people the way so many people say show us the way Jesus even when he was on the earth he was doing miracle after miracle and so many people said Jesus show me the way and Jesus said I am the way I am the truth and I am the life. Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. Again, again, I know it's tough to, to fully comprehend that. Someone told me a story once that kind of helped it to stick. You know, it, with regards to ants. Everyone knows ants. They, they, they live in an ant hill. You can get an ant farm and apparently watch them and they do some pretty amazing things. They're very smart little bugs. I think they're bugs, aren't they? Insects? They're very, very smart. If you wanted to communicate, now you're very superior to a bug, don't get me wrong. If you wanted to communicate with an ant or several ants, could you do it? The answer to that is very simply no, of course, right? There's a comedian in the crowd right now. He just said, no, I don't speak ant. Right? But what if, what if you became an ant and walked right on down into that ant hill? Could you communicate with them very clearly? Very clearly. This is what Jesus Christ did. This is what our God did. This is what your God, who loves you and created you and has a plan and has a purpose for your life, this is what he did. He came down and he spoke to the people and God was so amazing and so graceful to us. So many people say, well, I wasn't there. I didn't see Jesus. I didn't see him do these miracles. How do I 